and welcome to another book versus movie video. I love making these videos. I will leave a playlist up here in case you have missed any of them. Uh, it seems appropriate since I have just finished watching the Golden Globes and uh, this film uh, was nominated for quite a few of them uh, that I should be talking about If Beale Street Could Talk, which is written by James Baldwin and the uh, film has just come out in the cinemas over here anyway. Um, the book itself is very intense. If you've read it, you'll know. Um, and I listened on audiobook. Uh, it was a really good audiobook. If you are thinking of reading it, I recommend the audiobook. Um, and I really feel like the film did a great job of bringing that intensity to the screen. Obviously, it is a story that is told incredibly well in the book and I think they did a really good job of retelling that story on the big screen. Some of the dialogue in the film matches some of the dialogue in the book so they did a really good, uh, I keep saying really good job, they um, adapted the words on the page into a screenplay beautifully. It's um, I love when I watch a film and I can see some of the original dialogue from the book in the film. I'm like, oh, there's that link. There's that link that me as a film watcher and me as a reader needed to connect the two parts. It's one where the film and the book really do match almost, you know, word for word, scene for scene. Um, and like I say, the real intensity of the book comes across in the intensity of the film. You finish the book and you're not necessarily <laughs> finishing the book on a high, you're finishing the book and going, oh, that was a journey, I need to take a minute to digest this. You finish watching the film and you're kind of like, oh, that was a journey, I need to take a minute to digest this. Um, I thought they got the casting just beautifully done. Um, I really <sighs> Tish's mom in the book is a total matriarch within her society but she is quite quiet in the way she deals with things she receives some you know pretty big pieces of news and she deals with them because Tish is such a quiet person because she needs that kind of like level calm quietness there's this matriarchal quality but then this calm quietness that kind of comes across through the character in the book she isn't always quiet and she isn't you know she doesn't hold anything back but Regina King just did a great job of portraying that on the screen um and the guy that plays Tish's dad was just fantastic. I love his relationship with uh, Frank, I think, uh, Fonny's dad. I just, I loved watching them on the screen. Um, yeah, there's not an awful lot more to say because the film matches the book so closely. I enjoyed the book. Like I say, it was quite I don't want to say an exhausting read, but obviously the book deals with a lot of different issues um, in a great way. I do think it's an important read. Um, but yeah, you do feel wrung out by the time you get to the end of the book. And I really enjoyed the film as well. The film was, again, quite quiet, uh, but the dialogue matches the dialogue of the book. I thought the actors did a great job. I think the film feels the same as the book feels. And so, yeah, if you enjoyed If Beale Street Could Talk, the novel, then I think you will enjoy what they've done with it on the big screen. Um, yeah, and I think it's, it's rightly nominated for the awards that it's nominated for. There's my thoughts on If Beale Street Could Talk, book versus movie. Um, if you enjoyed this video, give it a thumbs up. It's a short one today. Make sure you subscribe so that my next video lands in your subscription feed. As I say, left that playlist of other book versus movie videos up there. So if you've missed any, you can go ahead and watch them. Uh, I will be back with another video for you on Friday. So I will see you then. Bye.